Hey, John. Uh, so, I guess the big problem with the, the setup currently is that the best example of a first-person shooter is a shooter game stuff, but it doesn't really seem compatible with the content on the marketplace. So, to give you an example, it's just, you know, the typical sort of setup. Uh, let's just run around here so I can show you that. Right, so, all works fine. The trouble is that this character isn't using the epic skeleton, right? So if I'm trying to, um, if I'm trying to use the, let's say I've got this rifle on him set. So how do I apply this animation to that character or rather I don't really want to replace, use that character. I want to use one of the prototype characters, this guy here. But of course, he's not compatible with the skeleton of the other guy. Um, so I can't just use him. And similarly, if we go to the weapons, say I've got this, this is the rifle weapon that you just saw on that, that character. If I try and replace the weapon, say with the one from the uh, sci-fi weapons pack and run it again what you get is this because the weapon itself presumably is rigged for a different example and I think that's pretty much the problem is that the, the, the shooter game isn't using the epic skeleton and isn't set up in the same kind of way as the other examples. So maybe that's the problem is that the examples like should be unified on how they do things. I mean, certainly having a first and third person character sort of template with the correct setup would be good. You know, using the epic skeleton, using all of the blend poses and stuff like you would normally like you've got here uh, so my suggestion would be to just update shooter game to use the epic skeleton uh, obviously you might need to update the assets in the shooter game a bit as well but that use that as the sort of example template for a first person just to be honest the first person template is a little bit um, poor in terms of third person weapon handling and stuff which is kind of what you want the shooter game's a lot more complete but doesn't use the same art setup which is kind of what I think is throwing me off um, I figured out how to retarget most of the other sort of you know I, I figured out how to set the skeleton for the animations for instance um, which isn't ideal but it, at least it works so it's not it's not a problem with the content necessarily it's a more a problem with uh, unifying examples so that uh, there's no kind of when you're using content you can pretty much guarantee that it'll work rather than having to because like so I've updated uh, this guy here so I've basically had to load up the mesh in max and twiddle with it to get it in, get it in the right way but it's not impossible to do it's just kind of a pain in the ass for a programmer to have to do that you know um, so it's more of a sort of ease of use thing than anything particularly game breaking. But obviously, I can imagine people who haven't got like 3ds Max skill or whatever to be a bit in a bit of a bind here. So that's what I wanted to show you, really, John. Uh, happy you're in the job, and good luck with you. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of more decent content coming along. Be really nice if we could get code in there, though. You know, because there's lots of stuff I'd like to put in the engine, but. It would be nice to earn a little bit of money just on the side for doing that. So, code plugins would be good. Anyway, thanks a lot, John. See you later.